Thousands of years ago, pile dwellers lived on the shores of our lakes. Let's get into the time machine and travel back in time. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, hello. So, you're a pile dweller. Pile dweller? That's pretty vague. Our ways of life are very different and have changed over the course of 4,000 years together with the environment. What period have we landed in? The Bronze Age. Bronze? Yep, bronze. We make bronze out of copper and tin to cast tools, weapons and lots of other things. And is that your family? Uh, family, we all belong together here. Some more, others less. But you have got children of your own, haven't you? Yes, two, three. Oh, there's the little ones coming back from the pasture. Then that lady over there in the doorway must be your wife. No, she isn't. That's a neighbor from beyond the lake. She's bringing us a hare she's just caught. A huntress? Here, most people do some form of hunting. Right then. Cheerio. We're working here. Now I'm curious. Let's go even further back in time. <laughs> Wow! Now the time machine has brought us 2,000 years further into the past. Hello, are you a pile dweller too? Yup. Welcome to the Neolithic period. Neolithic? Yes, you can tell from our houses and our arrowheads. These ones are made of flint. You've probably been out hunting. No, I was watching the children, who were looking after our livestock with the dogs. We went hunting in the spring. And what do you hunt? Mainly deer. Sometimes wolves, too. I even got a bear once. Really? About these arrows? Hands off. It's bad luck. Did you make them yourself? Some of them, but around these parts we mainly make flint axes. These arrowheads are pretty fancy. In your time, you'd say they were high-tech. We get them from the south side of the White Mountains. Sort of like trading, already in Neolithic times. Swapping, dealing, trading, call it what you like. It looks like you live here on the lake shore, is that right? Very often in any case. And you're a fisherman? That too. But when I go to live for a few weeks in the mountains, I'm a hunter or a herder. And when I work the fields, I'm a farmer. Actually, we're trying out a new cultivation method. What for? We're always looking for new ways to keep ourselves fed. And yes, I'm also a fisherman. We adapt to the conditions. Us too. Nothing's changed in that respect. By the way, these dugouts are beautifully crafted. Thanks. They're also an important means of transport for us. You don't only use them for fishing? For fishing too. But the lakes are mainly also the safest way of getting around and transporting things. Lakes and water in general are important to us on many levels. Well, I've got to be going. Just one more thing. A door was found recently in Zurich during the building of a car park. That one? Very nice. I think I know who made it. Well then. Bye. Keep at it. The research on us, as you call us, pile dwellers, is still only just beginning. We've got lots more to tell your children. <laughs>